Okay, so my UPS driver delivered some packages, and you know, I live way out here in the country, and I don't know if they see uh, packages like this show up every day, but he goes to the truck, he grabs these, and he comes up to the door with me, he's like, there are magnets in these? <laughs> oh yeah, there's magnets in these, so. Anyway, he looked pretty surprised. Uh, yeah, we got some strong magnets in here. Looking forward to doing some experiments with this stuff, so yeah, let's get these magnets out. While researching magnets and graphite, I came across KMJ Magnetics website. They had some great deals on pyrolytic graphite, so I ordered some of that, and uh, as soon as it arrived, I got to experiment with it. It is really cool. I have always been super interested in magnetic levitation, especially levitation that does not require any external power source or liquid nitrogen. As soon as the pyrolytic graphite arrived, I couldn't get to playing with it fast enough. It is really fun stuff to play with. Uh, you can do the, the little hoverboard type effects, and I was actually really impressed with how much weight uh, these things could actually pick up. I was able to levitate a uh, Lego man on a single piece. Uh, I did have to remove his hands and his uh, little hat, but uh, still really impressed that, uh, that a single piece could levitate him like this. This levitation is based on diamagnetism, and pyrolytic graphite is uh, a very strong diamagnetic material, which is what uh, allows this levitation to take place. KNJ Magnetics has a great uh, blog post about diamagnetic levitation with videos from their YouTube channel. I'll put links to that in the description on this video. But uh, it's really fascinating stuff. I've been learning a lot. One of the first things, a uh, misconception on my part, is I thought if I just put a piece of this pyrolytic graphite on top of a really strong magnet that it would uh, levitate. But it really doesn't. You need to line the magnets up north, south, north, south, alternating and it, the lift seems to come uh, right at the edges where the north and south are making contact. So pretty fascinating, but as you can see here on this really strong magnet, uh, zero levitation, uh, just with the pyrolytic graphite and a single magnet. I have a couple applications in mind for this pyrolytic graphite, and one of them involves a permanently levitating magnetic bearing system uh, that I can use on motors like the Easy Spin motor and the Atma motor. And I think I can improve on the jewel bearing that I'm currently using, using this pyrolytic graphite. So looking forward to testing that. But first, I want to do something a little more fun. I want to try to achieve the highest max elevation levitation above the magnetic field that I can possibly achieve. So I widened the end on the straw out so I can put one of these small magnets uh, inside that. What in the world? So that's the funny thing, when you're working with these really powerful uh, magnets and you get other magnets nearby, they do strange things. So we're quite a ways from the, uh, the large magnet here, but it's impacting uh, the magnetic field all over this area. So got to be very careful or things will get sucked over into the big magnet. This first setup is just a very crude replication of a YouTube video I saw from Innovative Materials. Um, out of all the pyrolytic graphite levitation videos I came across on YouTube, this one was the most impressive to me because they were achieving some pretty high substantial levitation above the magnetic field. And uh, here in these first tests, I'm really excited. You know, I'm just, just beginning to, uh, to play with this, but yeah. You can definitely get right up there, you know, quite a few millimeters above the magnets and achieve a very nice levitation. I'll put a link in the video description uh, to their video. It's quite impressive. You should uh, definitely go check that out. Seeing this levitation close up right before your eyes is quite the experience. You know, after trying to, to do levitation like this with magnets and different arrays of magnets and all different ideas in the past, you know, it's pretty easy to achieve magnetic levitation using a power source or liquid nitrogen, but to get this type of levitation in a permanent magnetic field like this, it's just really fun experimentation. <laughs> I definitely need to create a, a better setup for this uh, so that I can have this set up for a little more permanent uh, display, but for a first attempt, I'm very happy with this. So the second application that I'm really interested in is replacing the jewel bearings in my Easy Spin motors. Uh, so the tritium motor has been running, you know, for over a year on these jewel bearings and it slowly wears down the uh, points on the needles. But using a system like this, I think I'll have a lot less friction and just an, a lot better system. So really looking forward to uh, building some small uh, motors, both Atmo motors uh, to power with atmospheric electricity as well as easy spin motors uh, using this as the bearing. There is so little friction uh, with a system like this. And if you put this in a vacuum, I mean, it would just be incredible. 
So uh, anyway, definitely looking forward to uh, doing experiments uh, with this pyrolytic graphite. Uh, it's going to be interesting. I'm going to have some more videos coming up as I uh, get some larger pieces of pyrolytic graphite from K and J uh, Magnetics. And we'll just keep experimenting. I'll keep sharing. And yeah, let's uh, see where this leads.